you're living outside of Germany and you plan to come to Germany to work as a freelancer here, well, we would be glad to welcome you here to Germany. However, it might be a bit complicated to come and work here as a freelancer because there are many steps you have to go through. In this video, I will explain to you how you get a German freelancer visa. Stay with me. There are some basic requirements that you have to fulfill prior coming to Germany. I will list you here the four most important ones. The first one is you have to belong to the freelance category. You might have to prove that you have completed a certain education before. Freelance occupations include, for example, artists, writers, language teachers, doctors, engineers, auditors, lawyers, interpreters or architects. The second one is your profession must have a positive economical or cultural effect or regional interest or demand in Germany. And you must be able to emphasize that there are clients ready to work with you in Germany. And the last and the most important requirement is you have to prepare a package with all required documents. However, you do not need a visa if you are coming from Australia or Canada, USA, Japan, Israel, South Korea, United Kingdom or New Zealand. All you have to do is you just travel to Germany, register at the tax office, get an apartment, get a health insurance and apply for the residence permit. But please be aware that in the first 90 days you come to Germany, you cannot work on a freelancer basis yet. Basically, a German freelancer visa is divided into two subcategories. The first one is a national visa, also known as a D-Visa. This visa will allow you to enter Germany. This is a visa that you will get from the German embassy in your home country or from the consulate general. This kind of visa is a notification for the immigration office here in Germany so they know that you are traveling here for work. You must know that this D-Visa is only valid for a couple of months. So once you arrive here in Germany, you have to convert it immediately into a German freelancer visa. But you can start to work from the first day you arrive. The second part of the visa is a freelancer residence permit, also known as Aufenthaltserlaubnis zur freiberuflichen Tätigkeit. This kind of visa will allow you to stay here in Germany for a long time and to work here as a freelancer. However, you need to apply for this residence permit once you arrive in Germany at the immigration office. Before coming to Germany, you already have to submit a set of documents at the respective embassy of your home country or consulate general. I will see here some important documents that you have to submit Submit. However, consider that these documents might vary from country to country, from embassy to embassy, but these are the most important one. First of all, a visa application form filled out and signed, one biometric passport photos or even more, a valid international passport, a confirmation of the visa fee payment, a revenue forecast, a resume or a CV, proof of education, a letter of intent from at least two clients in Germany. This is very important because if you want to come to Germany to work as a freelancer, you have to have at least two different clients in Germany that you are working together with. So please be aware that these documents are very important. You will also need a health insurance, a rental contract of housing, a proof of saved money. This can be a document of your total savings which proves that you have enough money to live once you arrive in Germany. This could be for example a bank statement or a blocked bank account. And if needed, a professional permit. For some specific professions, you need to recognize them as such professions here in Germany. This could be, for example, if you are an auditor, a lawyer or a doctor. And last but not least, if you are older than 45 years old, you need to have an adequate pension plan. Once you arrive in Germany, you have to complete these four activities. The first one is you register your home address, which you do at the residence registration office in Germany, also known as the Bürgeramt, which you might find close to your home. The second thing you have to do is you have to open a bank account. And the third step is you register your freelance activity with the tax office also known as the Finanzamt here. For this, I suggest you get a tax advisor who will support you with this. If you need our help, then we would be happy to do this. In the end of the video, I will give you some information about this. And last but not least, you have to get a health insurance. Once you arrive in Germany and you visit the immigration office, and you convert your D-Visa into a freelancer residence permit, then you need to prepare the following documents. The first document is a rental contract or proof of home ownership in Germany. The second document is a proof of residence in Germany with a registration certificate, which is also known as a Meldebescheinigung. And 
a confirmation of your landlord that you rent a place, which is known as Einzugsbestätigung. What you will also need is a proof of monthly payment or rental costs, as well as a proper health insurance and a confirmation of registration of your freelance activity at the tax office. The issuance usually takes five to six weeks, so please plan a lot of time ahead. I hope that this video was helpful to you. I know it's a lot of things and a lot of steps you have to go through and there's so many documents required because here in Germany everything has to be super clear and you need to submit a set of documents. But I'm sure you will succeed with it definitely and then you can work as a freelancer here in Germany. Maybe we are the right tax advisor for you if you plan to come here as a freelancer and then we will be also happy to help you with the tax registration. If you want to get more information about our tax services, click here to get more information or watch this and this video.